Hello there everyone, um, today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars set number 75325 The Mandalorians and One Starfighter from the Book of Boba Fett Now I'm going to do this, this is the day after yesterday from Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 2 premiere So yeah I'm going to do that in honor of the episode Now uh, this set has 412 pieces, 4 minifigures which I'm obviously missing Pel Pelimoto don't know where she at where she's at at least in my room but i'll maybe i'll include it next time i do an updated review but um yeah besides that um she retails for 47.99 at walmart um it's actually 16 dollars but if you were able to find it at costco you could get it for 30 which is actually a much better deal than 60 dollars from my personal opinion yeah let's get into it i want to look at the minifigures first and we'll look at the ship after and play features and everything like that. All right, so here we get the Mandalorian, or better known as Din Djarin. So here he is in his best scar, best best scar armor. Sorry for the. So then here he is with his dark saber. Now this is actually a custom dark saber, the official dark saber, which is a crappy lightsaber hilt with black, which I obviously did not like. I would have preferred to include this custom dark saber which actually looks way better than that crappy one that Lego made. It does have arm printing, which is actually pretty fire, I would say so. He does have a he does have a jetpack too in the back. And this is actually the first time we ever got a face print for Pedro. The actor who plays Mando. Here it is. Actually looks pretty good. Gotta love it. This is the first time they ever made a face print for Pedro Pascal, which is actually W. To be honest. And of course it has that crappy helmet. The crappy Mandalorian helmet before they introduced the UCS Razor, Razor Crest helmet. Which yes we are making a similar styled one for the new N1 Microfighter. Which we will look at that whenever that comes out soon. Yeah here it is. Um, I think this looks pretty good besides the helmet. The helmet it's obviously one issue because of the. Because now that the UCS Razor Crest came out with that new styled helmet, this definitely shows that this one, yeah, it doesn't look too great. But besides that, the arm printing is a W. Leg printing is a W. And yeah, let's go to the next minifigure. Alright, so here we got Grogu. Let's see, little Grogu. There's nothing too special to him. Arms don't move. Head does move, though. If you want to, you can move it like that. There's nothing really special about Grogu. I guess. It's just Grogu. It's cool, I guess. Let's go to the next minifigure slash, slash droid. So here we got a BD, BD unit from uh, the ones that help Pelimoto. Looks pretty cool. I would say they did a pretty good job of getting the BD accuracy. Here's the back. Obviously nothing special. Similar to Grogu, it sits on one stud here. Yeah, looks pretty cool, I would say myself. And now let's get into the build. Alrighty, here, so here's the N1 Starfighter itself. Here's the engine build. The, um, the body, the main body. The other engine build. Here's the cockpit area. That's where Grogu is supposed to be at. Here's the tail. Sorry. Here's the under belly. Now I was supposed to have an engine here, but that one falls off really easily. And I just could not bother to look for it anymore. So yeah, let me uh let's give our opinion about the build overall. Now, I do love the engine design. The engine, how they did it killer design one complaint I'm already gonna tell you a complaint <laughs> the body man just look at this this looks dull compared to how it actually looks in Star Wars like they actually just in Star Wars it looks way better like look at this just dullness they did, they, they did get this right however but it's just so dull like I shouldn't have to be buying extra pieces like Lego to, to make it look better but if you are going to want to make it look better, you are going to have to add some extra pieces on the side. Another complaint I'm going to say, however, is this is too easy for it to hit the spring-loaded shooters. Like, 
even the slightest touch just like that like just the slightest tap already hits the spring loaded shooters I do look do like how it does but it's just spring loaded shooters it just hit too easy here you're supposed to have a storage compartment for Din's uh, jetpack and dark saber which I will show later that's another play feature here's Din's um, interior cockpit which I would say is pretty meh it's too doesn't look too cool it looks really dull to be honest and here's Grogu's um, little area too looks alright I guess suits Grogu just fine and then, yeah, let's put let's put Grogu and Mando in here, and let's see how it looks. All right, so here's the build with uh, Mando and Grogu in it, and yeah, you can see how they look like over there in the ship. See Grogu? No, let's look at the stickers. How many does he include? So that's one. Over here, that's already two, and it does include another sticker for. Let's take this out if I'm able to. Denzel computer radar show, which I would say they did do right for the sticker, but I mean, I would have just preferred a, a printed control panel rather than a rather than a stickered one because you know I hate stick. Almost everybody and their mothers hate stickers because it is a pain to put, especially if you're not us using a brick separator. It is absolutely impossible to put it in. Yeah, here it is. Didn't it? it? Let's look at the play features now, shall we? So, obvious play features. Regard. Let's bring loaded shooters. I put a green one in there because it had a red one, but that doesn't make the. It's not accurate because in the show, when you see Den firing the N1, specific in season three, and you see him uh, fighting the pirates. That's spoiler work, by the way. But by the stage, I think everybody's watched the first episode, so. And he's fighting the pirates. Um, when he's firing the starfighter, it comes out as green, not red. So they included red, which is pretty much a mismatched color. So I decided to include green instead. So you got spring loaded shooters. It shoots right from here. There you go. Obvious. Another play feature you could um, store dark saber in the jetpack, but unfortunately, the custom dark saber does not fit inside the storage compartment too well try to put it in there yeah it doesn't fit at all so you could just put the jetpack Mando's jetpack in there just like this there you go and yeah there isn't really much to the fighter it's not too special I would say needs really a lot of needed a lot of improvement. Personally, do love the engines. They need the improvement. It's more of the body that needs see that needs the improvement overall. Now let's get into the verdict. All right, so here's the verdict now. Oh, I absolutely love the engine design. That's not my own few compliments. Love the engine design. What I don't love is the body really dull really plain compared to how it actually looks like in the Star Wars in the Mandalorian looks really dull not a big fan of it but I do love the engine design as I've been saying interior could have done better with um where Din goes and Grogu I think Grogu's uh place actually does well but Din's um cockpit area could have definitely done better would have preferred a printed um piece cheese slope piece and put it as a control panel rather than a stickered one the spring loaded mechanism too easy to hit it by accident as you can see you can hit it easily by accident that's another criticism for the set and another one of course another criticism the back engine part if you do have it you should know this falls way too easily that's another big issue with the set yeah the verdict is um is it worth sixty dollars? No, not really. Especially for like four hundred pieces, it's like not really worth sixty dollars. If you found it at Costco, is it worth thirty bucks? I guess maybe. If you don't have one yet, it'll be good to have one. If Costco still even sells them, but 
Whatever they were selling it, 30 bucks I think was fair enough, I think. Fair game. But ultimately, if you are going to want to make it better, you are going to have to buy a bunch of extra pieces. Especially yellow marks on the body. And you're going to have to see, like, actually look in the ship to see how to make it better from the body. Because the body looks really bad. Not that great. I would say about a 7. It does have a lot of design flaws, but ultimately, if you're able to find it for a good price, not bad. Minifigures are good, of course. Mando. The mask is not my favorite, but I do love that this is the first set we ever got the printed face of Pedro. And yeah, um, this is all. This is the end. Um, it's been funny moments. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Now, we'll be doing a poll um, uh, today when I post this video afterwards. Um, or ask people, um, which other LEGO themes you want me to do besides Star Wars, like... Speed Champions, Marvel, all the, all the other stuff, other themes. Not friends, though. Do not even ask about friends. Don't just know. Yeah, it's been a uh, funny moment. I hope you had a good rest of your day. And it's been a really funny moment. Peace out, everyone.